Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining me for Excel Video 303. I'm Nate Moore. Today I'm in town to speak for the Medical Group Management Association's annual meeting in San Antonio. If you're here at the meeting, I'd love to meet you. If not, I'd love to see you next year. We're doing two sessions on data mining on Tuesday, and I think you'd really enjoy them. What we're going to do today is more calculations. I'm going to get rid of the doctor field and the locations field, move them both to the report filter area, control home to get back, and get a little bit cleaner screen to show you some more calculations we can do in pivot tables. For those of you who may have missed an earlier video, if you're still on Excel 2007, to get the menus we're going to, you need to go to this drop down and value field settings, show values as. If you're in Excel 2010, right click and show values as a little faster to get there. What we're going to do this time is percentage of. We dealt with these parent row things for a while. I want to make sure you understood the difference and the new ver what the new version Excel 2010 will let you do with parent rows that you can't do in Excel 2007. Let's do ex percentage of today. What percentage of will do is it says, all right, Nate, what do you want to do the percentage as a baseline? What do you want to take the percentages of? Let's do primary insurance and Medicare and say, what I really want to understand is what do my other carriers look like as a percentage of Medicare? So if I do that, what it's going to tell me is, okay, Medicare is 100% of Medicare. I get that. Medicare is my baseline. And then you can see that Aetna is 95% of Medicare and then 107% of Medicare and then 101% of Medicare over time. And you can see how these other carriers in my payer mix change in relation to Medicare over time. I can do the same thing going the other direction. I can show values as percentage of, but this time I'm going to go to years. And I can do years as a percentage of 2010, let's say. So now what I can say is, all right, if 2010 is my baseline, now that's the 100%. And I can see that for Medicare, I was a little more in 2009 and in 2011 than I was in 2010. Whereas Aetna is the only one where I actually, you know, Aetna was 90% of 2010, and so it's the only one that was less than 2010. Everybody else was a little bit more in, 20, in 2009 and actually dropped in 2010, but Aetna is the only one that increased from 2009 to 2010. You see how I'm looking at that? Here's my baseline, and then I can see everything around that baseline. The years, like in this example, or the pairs in the previous example, I just set 1 to 100% and everything else is a percentage of it. Let me show you one more trick from this menu. If we come here, we'll just pick on any cell, show values as, percentage of. When we look at years, let's look at, you can look at previous year or next year. Let's do previous to start. So previous is going to be my baseline year, my first year in the mix. And then this is a percentage of 2009. But what this is, is it's a percentage of 2010. See how percentage of, it's not a percentage of 2009. That's not what I'm doing. I'm doing a percentage of the previous year. So this is a percentage of 2009. This is a percentage of 2010. And my baseline, again, is the 100%. I hope that makes sense for you. There's a bunch of different ways to set a baseline, whether it's a certain year or a certain pair, or you can just say the previous and that baseline will move for you and it will help you see trends over time as a percentage of your baseline. Let's look at one last thing before I leave you today. Percentage of next simply puts the 100% over here in the 2011 column. Now that's my baseline and this is the percentage of 2011. This is the percentage of 2010. That's how the percentage of works. Tremendously powerful way to set a baseline and say, how does everything compare to this? And it'll show it to you as a percentage basis. Bunch more calculation stuff to come, and I look forward to seeing you then. Thanks for watching.